what's going on YouTube. Today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to implement your own tab bar to your app in Xcode. So if you don't know how to actually make your tab bar in the first place, I've got a tutorial on how to do this. So I've got an annotation here so you can click on it and learn how to. And for mobile viewers, I've got the link in the description. So to get started, you'll need your tab bar and you have to go ahead and start Xcode. Create a new project and make it a tabbed application and we'll just call this tab bar and I'll just create it and put it on my desktop so what you'll need to do first is go to your app delegate.m and just get rid of this note and you'll need this code so I'll put this code in the description and if we just copy this, uh, paste it here and whatever you've saved your um, picture, your tab bar as, so in this case it will be tab bar with a capital T, you'll need to here in your code make sure that it says that, so in this case it says nav bar, we need to change that to tab bar, make sure it is case sensitive I believe, so you need to make sure that it's the capitals are all in the right places. So now what we need to do is just get our tab bar and drag it into Xcode and we'll just put it under supporting files. Make sure it's copied into the items destination group folder. And now, if you start up your application, you'll see here that we actually have our tab bar. So now you see we've got, um, it says first, it's got a circle, it says second, it's got a square. To get rid of these, We'll have to go to our main storyboard, just make that a little bigger, um, and then if you actually click on first and the attributes, if we get rid of the title and the image, and then do the same on the second. And if we restart our app, you see that our tab bar is down here. So if I click on here, it'll take us to the second view, and click here, it'll take us to the first view. So that's how you make your own tab bar. Thanks for watching, and if this did help you, please rate and comment on the video. And make sure you check out my other video on how to make a custom tab bar icon. I'll have the annotation up now and I'll put the link in the description.